Hello beautiful people, it is your girl Angel Ann Light and I'm so excited to be here with you guys yet again for another Girl Talk video. If you're new to my space, welcome, you already know what to do. The first thing I wanted to talk about is all these that girl videos. How to be that girl, that girl, that girl, that girl. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Y'all, I'm low key tired of it only because, I, first of all, I love the videos. The reason why I love the videos is because it does encourage women to be a better version of themselves. And it also shares how somebody is becoming that girl that they want to become with whatever it is, right? But the thing I don't like about it is that it makes me feel like we are now entering into another season of carbon copies. And the reason I say that is because everywhere I look on social media, especially everybody seems like they look and or speak or do the same things. And it's just, it kind of gives me that robotic, like copy paste type of feeling. And I'm just like, what is going on? What happened to individuality and the uniqueness of you? Because to me, that's what makes you so precious and so special. Like. I love that aesthetics are going and like when I say aesthetics I think most people understand what I what I mean like when you think of the aesthetic um, that's going around where it's very um, minimal stones pompous um, like just that look you know exactly what I'm talking about like in that look it's like clays and stuff like that and I love guys do not hear me wrong but I love 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 that vibe I love everything about it I even have some of the things that fit that aesthetic in that vibe but I also have things that make me neat. Like, I don't know, okay, let me calm down. <laughs> Maybe because I feel like being yourself is so important in today's world, especially with identity. Um, it's so easy to feel like you need a look and or sound or be like somebody else that you see on social media, especially if they do have a larger following or if they do have, um, you know, something that you want but necessarily don't need. And I say that with a grain of salt because there are things that people want. And I will even speak about myself because you guys know anytime I come on here and anytime I go in front of the camera, I always talk about me first because I am only accountable for me and I can only judge myself. I can't judge you. I can't do any of that. Um, but I found myself doing that, guys. Like, for real, I found myself feeling like... I had to be that girl. I had to do this. I had to do that. I have to buy this. I had to look this way. I have to have even my house look like certain things. And I'm just like, what, Angel? Like, what did, like, what is going on? What, what is making you feel this way? And I was just like, yo, I'm having a little bit of overload with what's going on on social media. And that's real talk. And so I had to pull myself off of it. Like, I was telling Emmanuel, like, I've been very visual, like, vigilant with watching how much I've been on social media. That's something I've always paid attention to because I don't want to be someone that's always stuck to her to my phone and so I kind of wanted to touch on and kind of like bring to your attention the carbon copies versus the individuality that's going on um you are so unique you are so brilliant you are so beautiful you guys know that's something I say in all my videos if you are someone that's been rocking with me for a while um but I really celebrate who you are and the, the specialness about you and the quirkiness and just all of that kind of stuff. And so when I see people, especially if it's not really their thing, try to fit. It's like, y'all, it's like having a circle mold, right? A circle mold and you're trying to fit a square into that mold. It just won't fit. And that's what I feel like when I see certain people and I'm just like, you know, you have to be careful when you tell certain people things that you notice or you know you have to proceed with love because there's a difference some people are graced with certain things and some people aren't and so you have to know when to say things and when not to okay but like when i see certain things happen and certain people do certain things i'm just like you're trying to fit into a mold that was never carved out for you and that's why you're not finding success in this area of your life and so i hope what i'm saying strikes the heart cord in you that I don't want you to feel like you have to be like anybody else. You can always be a better version of yourself. You don't have to look like everyone else on social media. You don't have to get the things like everybody else on social media. You can be you, do you, and be true. I know, um, y'all, I know it's, it's hard to feel, and I'm speaking 
from my own personal experience, especially being here on YouTube. It, it, YouTube, Instagram, all of that jazz, but it's hard to feel special when your specialness is different from other people's special and people don't recognize it. And so the reason why I say that is you, you have to go back to who are you doing the things for? Are you doing it for the approval of man or are you doing it because it makes you happy? Or are you doing it for God? Like I know whenever I post a video, I no longer have the expectation of things going viral or things getting plenty of likes or plenty of views. I am more interested in just that one person. And I say it again all the time. If that one person is me, then I feel successful. Um, somebody recently watched one of my older videos and it was a encouragement video where it was just me talking to you guys just like I am right now, but it was just me giving you guys affirmations and you know, building you guys up with my words. And when I watched it, I was like, oh my gosh, angel of whatever year I recorded this video on. I was like, you're speaking to me now and I really needed to hear this. And so I say all that to say, y'all be careful with all this, you know, that girl series and how you're watching other people live their life. Always remember that your life is special. Your life is important. Your life is beautiful. Do not feel like you have to show everything online you don't have to be perfect that's the word you do not have to be perfect because you're not <laughs> i'm not either we're not perfect um you're perfectly perfect you're perfect you're perfectly imperfect the way you are god loves you excuse me your friends love you your family loves you you should love you as well i love you guys so much you're beautiful you're brilliant there's nothing you can do to separate yourself from God's love. And as the cup said, you're exactly where you need to be. I love you guys. And don't you ever let anyone dim your light. I'm so excited for this week's vlog. Um, stay tuned. I post every Sunday and Wednesday. And I sometimes do little pop-up videos in between during the week. And so I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Kisses. Peace.